Right, I've just walked out the little door, side entrance of the walled garden and because it's someone's actually cut the grass there I was able to go out and have a good walk around and take some lovely photos of the wild flowers or perhaps flowers that were not wild once and uh, so it's been tidied up a bit, it's showing the potential I think why they've tidied it up and they've definitely, from the look of the photos online, they've tidied it up inside because they've done up the the lounge area or the dining drawing room, whatever you want to call it, it's all been tidied up. But of course the kitchens look pretty ancient. I don't expect they've done anything to them yet. They'd have to all be um, cleaned out completely, I would have thought, but then they might want to retain some of it. Anyway, now I can carry on with the walk. I won't be doing as much as I thought now because I because I found out about the up for sale, though I've seen no sign for two million pounds. I thought, well, I've got to come back. Let's get one more, another good image of it. And because it was tidied up a bit, I was able to go around the walled garden. But the actual house itself, from the outside, really needs a makeover. It'd have to, it would have to open, I would have thought, as a hotel again. It'd have to have a, to maintain it. You'd have to have someone who's got a bit of money to spare. Well, this is an update with the Sony. This is an update. Let's get my breath back. Right, I'm going to turn off now because I'm going to walk up through this avenue of trees. Then I'll be winding round, following the contours, looking for Smith's Coombe. Okay. Over and out. Old Foxton Cottage, that is. Let me pass on the Coleridge Walk after passing the mansion. Um, we just got to find the signs. Wait a minute. We got to find the signs. Wait a minute. We follow what we do. We follow Coleridge's feather. It's so easy to go up places like that where you can get on the top quickly, it's true. But we're not doing that. I would actually be on the top, I wouldn't have to climb up. But the idea is to climb up. So we follow. We follow the sign, Corn Top Greenway, and the Coleridge Walk. So I've just went past a lovely little area there where there was two. Two or three small, well not small, houses really. Um, and I, I spotted a deer and she spotted me as soon as I um, clicked the camera. The deer responded and she looked up. I was able to zoom in and take a picture. But I wish I'd had it on video now because she then gently started to walk. walk along and then she jumped and she was jumping so um, she was visiting somebody's garden there's another little house here look. because what we've got to remember is it's a couple of years since I've actually um, done this particular s section. It's a couple of years since I've done this particular section. So you can tend to forget exactly where you've been. <laughs> but uh, as we know we're going down it means I know we've got to go up. That's the only thing. But we're going to go up a different coom. That's the idea of today. Now if that coom is totally overgrown, 
we just find another way up. And uh, that'll be it. Everything goes up. So there's just a bit of the walk I'm doing. Passing places where if you'd had done a lot more of the walk, say from the other stoey or something, and you ran out of water, you could have asked for water there. There was even taps outside, which I suspect they wouldn't have minded if you'd filled your bottle up. I haven't even started on my water yet. I've had um, a couple of mouthfuls of fruit juice. Um, it won't let me drink it all at once, so I've still got some left. Because they've got a, bu a bumpy way out whoever lives around here, haven't they? You'd have to have a Land Rover to do this bit. To get out on the road, wouldn't you? You'd have to have a Land Rover. I mean, at the moment, I can't remember none of this. <sighs> I said it could be six, seven years ago I actually done it. But look, if you look there though, it says Kilv. So there's another way to Kilv there. Then if you look on the other side, oh, wait a minute. Coleridge Way, well that doesn't tell you anything, does it? Perry. Right, we'll just go down here a minute. This is what I mean about gates. So do we go through that one? Or do we go down there? Something tells me we've got to go down there. It's pointing more that way, isn't it? Puppet bridle path. Yeah, that, that's sort of going up. We need to follow. But isn't that clear? It's not that clear, but I can tell now by the narrowness that this is the way. Yeah, signed Perry. Like I said, if I'd taken that, gone up there now, we'd be up on the top quicker. <sighs> yeah, this is a similar track to what I was on the other day, coming from West Quantock. West Quantock's head. We are now approaching the same Coombs but from the Holford air end. I'm going to turn off now.